everyone has questions about sex. Mainly, was that any good? While she can't answer that one, Dr. Deborah So, a science journalist and columnist for Playboy and The Globe and Mail, is here to help us better understand and maybe better perform. Why do men with small penises buy the biggest, most obnoxious trucks? Is there a study on trucks to penis size? I think that would be a great study. <laughs> um, I think it's like what we see in the animal kingdom where, you know, animals will have a display to try and attract mates. They'll so buy trucks? They'll buy trucks. You hear a similar thing about about guns. Like people say, like, oh, you have a small dick, so then you have you have a gun. Is is that true? Is there is there any studies about that? I don't think so. I feel like a lot of the people who, you know, who say that, you know, they, they don't understand that like a gun and a penis are two very different things. Like they do very different things. Like for example, if you wanna fend off an attacker, you probably would wanna have a gun on you then lead with your penis. Uh yes. You wrote a piece about Gaydar uh, entitled Gaydar Exists. What does this mean for straight people? I'm, I have terrible Gaydar. I just assume any man who talks to me wants to have sex with me. There was a review paper that came out recently that showed that Gaydar is actually real. Um, you can tell whether someone is gay based on very small differences in facial structure, in terms of body language, in terms of even the way we speak. I really love that paper in particular for me. I spent a lot of time in the gay community. A lot of my friends are gay men growing up, so I feel I have really strong gaydar, and I was really happy to see that, you know, there's actually some some merit to that. There was an article that, um, that came out uh, a few months back. It was written by a woman who was pissed off that gay men, like, didn't want straight women in their bars. And she was like, how dare, how dare they tell me, a woman, where I can go? You know, and it's like, well, you know, some bars you have, like, guys looking to hook up and stuff, and maybe they don't want to see, like, bachelorette parties. You know, can you imagine that? What's, like, you know, been the biggest struggle for gay rights? Is it bachelorette parties <sighs> at gay clubs? How do Apache attack helicopters mate? Uh, can you explain the Apache helicopter meme to me and where in the brain do memes form? I love memes. Um, the Apache attack helicopter meme, from what I understand, is kind of a statement as to, you know, people nowadays are identifying as genders that are not uh, based in mm -hmm. science you know, or any sort of biology. So outside of that, I think people were saying with this meme, um, well, why can't I identify as a helicopter? And I guess they would probably mate the same way. Right. If helicopters like, had genitalia, yeah. What I would love to see is if someone who identifies as an Apache helicopter tries to mate with an actual Apache helicopter, that, that would be scary. It would be a bit scary. Thanks for your questions, guys. If you have any more, be sure to share them in the comments and subscribe to our channel, We The Internet TV, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for new videos every week. And make sure to follow Dr. So at Dr. Deborah So on Twitter.